The full moon is the time of the month where the energy peaks and then releases. The stronger your connection to the full moon, the more your heart chakra is aligned. The heart chakra is home to compassion and forgiveness. A full moon is the perfect time to let go of negativity and release all of your emotions so you can reset and restart yourself for a new chapter in your life. This is the last full moon of 2021, so be intentional with everything you want to come forward in 2022. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ashley aka Pretty Hippie and I'm back with another video. In this video I'll just be showing you guys how I prepared my full moon spiritual bath. The first thing I'm doing here is adding some distilled water to my pot and the reason I'm doing this is to boil my herbs. The first herb that I'm going to add is sage. And sage is one of the most commonly recognized magical herbs. It's used for smoke cleansing, protection, and purification. So I definitely wanted to incorporate it into my spiritual bath. The next herb I'm going to add is basil. And basil is good for bringing luck, fostering success, drawing in money, purification, protection, promoting peace, relieving stress, uncrossing, and love and happiness. So I'm just going to give it a good stir to make sure the herbs are mixed in well and I'm going to bring this to a boil but I'm going to add some more herbs a little bit later once it comes to a boil so you guys will see that in just a second. So now I'm just going to get ready to prepare my flowers and I just randomly picked this bouquet of flowers at Publix. Like I was just drawn to the colors. I know some people like to use roses for love and lavender to promote peace and tranquility but I was just drawn to this variety of color for some reason um, I think the purple flowers reminded me of the flowers that were at my grandma's funeral so I just opted to get this bouquet of flowers and always keep in mind your spiritual work is not going to look just like someone else's what someone else does may not be what you need so you always have to listen to spirit and get guidance and wisdom from your higher power whoever your higher power is to make sure that you're doing the right things for you just because someone else uses one thing that doesn't necessarily mean that you need the same things that that person needs because everybody is different we're all different spiritually and we're all at different spiritual levels so just listen to yourself and trust yourself and if you feel called or led to do something always trust your intuition you can always get tips and guidance from people on YouTube like myself or you know just people in general but just make sure that you're taking time to listen to yourself and trust yourself in the process as well so now that my water is boiling, I'm going to go ahead and add three cinnamon sticks to the mixture. And cinnamon is known for bringing in abundance and money. So we're definitely going to add this to our spiritual bath. So the last herb I'm going to be using is bay leaves. And bay leaves are good for purification and protection. And it's also used to dispel negative energy. So I'm going to give this a good stir and let it boil for about 30 to 40 minutes. So now I'm just going to go in and clean my area. You always want to start with a nice, clean, sanitized area before you do any spiritual work. I think it just creates a mood and I like things to be clean. Like I can't rest or relax or meditate or anything in like junky spaces. So I have to go in and just make sure the area is like top notch zen.
Now I'm just gonna go in and add my items to my bathtub. I'm starting with my candles. I'm using the Sagittarius candle and the Gemini candle because the sun is in Sagittarius and the moon is in Gemini. So now I'm just adding my crystals. My first crystal is Amethyst. Second one is Clear Quartz. Smoky Quartz. Rose Quartz and Black Onyx. Selenite. Another Amethyst. And another Selenite. Now I'm just going to anoint my candles with my anointing oil that I made. So I'm just going to take the dropper and place drops in my candle and say a prayer over them before I light them. Now I'm just adding the finishing touches to my bath. I'm going to add a labradorite. And I'm also going to add a citrine. As I prepare myself to take my spiritual bath, I'm just going to clean myself. A spiritual bath is not meant to be an actual bath, but more so just what is called a spiritual bath. So you want to make sure you're nice and clean once you get in the bathtub. And now I am ready to begin. So I just start by running my water. And next I'm going to add my herbal mixture to the bath. And now I'm adding sea salt. It is one of the most powerful ingredients to release any kind of negative debris lingering in your energy. Next, I'm going to add my Florida water. A few things Florida water is good for is enhancing and cleaning, creating balance, protecting from negativity, and attracting positivity. Next, I'm just going to add some of my anointing oil that I made myself. This oil has been sitting on my altar for years now and is heavily saturated with everything that I want and need. 
Next, I'm just gonna go in and add my road opener powder. I'm also gonna add my road opener wash that I got from a local botanica here in Birmingham. And what road opener is good for is just what it is. It's opening roads and clearing all obstacles, blockages, or whatever you may have. Next, I'm going to add this Blockbuster oil that I got specially made, the same Botanica actually. And I'm just going to add a few drops and what Blockbuster oil does is remove obstacles as well. Last but not least, I'm going to add my bouquet of flowers. Now I'm just going to cleanse my area. I'm gonna smudge with Palo Santo. You can use sage if you like, but I just prefer the smell of Palo Santo better. And because I'm not opening a window or anything, I'm not going to use sage tonight. So Palo Santo is my choice of smudging for cleansing of the air and all of my materials that I'm using tonight. And I'm also cleansing myself and my aura as well. Now that I have my self clean, the space set, my aura and energy clean and cleared, I like to journal. And I like to journal because I like to set intentions thoroughly. This is the last full moon of this year of 2021. So I want to be very intentional about everything that I want to manifest, everything that I want to let go, everything I want to become, etc. So with journaling, it really helps me channel every single thing that I want to embrace and I don't want to leave anything out because we're closing out this year and I want to heal from everything that occurred this year. I want to acknowledge and be thankful for everything that has happened to me this year. I want to release everything that I need to release and forgive who I need to forgive, also forgive myself. And this is just a time of deep reflection. Um, this can cause major emotions. I didn't capture everything on camera because this is like a sacred time for me, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys an idea of what I do. To begin my meditation, I like to listen to healing sounds and this will assist me in meditation. Meditating is not always easy for me because my mind definitely wanders. So meditation music helps me get into a deep meditation. Just a meditation, being thankful, grateful, releasing, um, harboring on everything that I just journaled, manifesting my dreams pursuing my goals and being a good mom, um, being a good wife, you know, just all around, just trying to be the best version of me that I can possibly be and constantly evolving. I think in this moment, I definitely started thinking about my grandmother who transitioned last year and how I would really love, you know, for her to be around me and my children, especially when I'm having a rather difficult time coping with this pregnancy because it was so unexpected. Um, so this meditation um, is taking me in a place of just 
being prepared. Like I need to prepare myself no matter the circumstances, this baby is coming and I need to get in a place of peace and total, you know, just, I just need to get there. You know, I'm not fully there yet because of my traumatic C-section with my last pregnancy that I was not expecting. So in this moment, that's what I was thinking about. Um, I remember it. Yeah, so. <laughs> I definitely need to release the energy of the traumatic experience from my C-section during this spiritual bath. Last but not least, before I get into the bath, I'm going to light this attraction incense. And here is the final prepared spiritual bath. So I am done with my full moon spiritual bath 2021, December 18th. I honestly feel like 2022 is going to be a really good year. This is a really good way to start the new year. I have cried, released embrace everything that has happened and I am just in a full place of total I guess surrender to my craft I'm ready to go full force with my gifts and my talents and be the best mom I can be be best daughter sister wife i'm just ready to like my mom says maximize my full potential i'm ready to grow and elevate and just see where this journey takes me yeah i feel really great I feel really refreshed rejuvenated revived revitalized alive like <laughs> everything but thank you guys for watching this video and thank you guys for being subscribed to my channel thank you guys for a successful year on youtube we just hit 44k and i'm so grateful i'm so thankful to everyone that's on this channel um you guys really inspire me to keep going like thanks for the support <sighs> It's only up from here. So, yeah, I'm going to get out of here and get to my children because I know they're probably wondering what I'm doing. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. And as always, world peace. Bye, guys.